guys, Sims Dim here, back with another unboxing. This time it's going to be the Tokyo Marui Glock 17 Gen 4. This was sent to me very graciously by Airsoft Direct, so thank you guys for that. Uh, believe it or not, I've never actually owned an Airsoft Glock before, uh, or a real one in general, because obviously UK laws. Can't get one. Um, yeah, as you guys probably know from the channel, I'm a big HK fan. I've had quite a few HK pistols over the years. They've all been Tokyo Marui. Um, I've had HK 45 and I've recently got the USP Compact. Um, but yeah, they sent me this, so let's go and unbox it. Now I have held Glocks before. A couple of my friends have 19s and 17s, uh, but never had one myself. So it'll be interesting to see like a stock Glock because uh, theirs are all tricked out and stuff. So. As always, nice TM packaging. The manual always sits behind the kind of styrofoam or whatever they use. Um, so there, which is nice, they're always really good manuals. I'm not going to go over the manual because it's always pretty much the same. The TM stuff. Oh, okay, that's quite nice. So I'll show you the presentation. So as you can see, you get the replica. Uh, I'm going to assume there'll be some BBs, dry fire tabs in there, things like that. You get uh, one magazine, the thing itself, and you get four different back straps as well. Two with a beaver tail and two without beaver tail. So I'm going to assume that that would technically be small. And you would have maybe medium and large, medium and large, I would say. Yeah, there you go, medium, large, medium, large. Cool. Well, that's pretty nice. Um, brilliant presentation as always. Standard choke and brewery there. So that's. Nice feel, it is kind of plasticky, but it's Tokyo Marie, so it's always going to be high quality ABS, which is nice. Full trades, as always, you probably won't be able to see that, but full trades. Um, you have the trades on here as well, which is nice. Uh, that's metal, which is pretty cool. Um, I mean, Glock's a polymer frame anyway, right? So it's pretty smooth actually, I like that. Not too bad, not too bad. You have the little hidden Glock safety, which is here. You just pull that down and you can't can't fire it. But yeah, it's not too bad. The grip's very nice, actually. Really, really nice. It's kind of like stippled, but not stippled. Magazine release is nice and, nice and beefy. Only on one side. I don't think that doesn't look like you can change it. Because I'm a lefty, but to be honest, that's not too bad because all I do is I'll just bring my finger down and kind of push here. I'll show you. So, gas in the magazine. No BBs though. Just, yeah, it's clear. So, yeah, for here, I would literally just, so if I'm shooting, I'll just kind of push with here. Drops free, that's nice. Yeah, decent. Nicely weighted magazine. Standard gas fill valve at the bottom. I know some put them kind of here or under a base plate, but it's not too bad. I like that. But yeah, so far, so good. If I'm honest, that grip feels quite nice anyway, so I probably won't use back straps. Uh, yeah, no bite, which is nice. Not too bad. Yeah, I'm kind of impressed. The sights are standard for Glock sights, really. It's a dot at the front and a U notch at the back. Yeah, pretty decent. Obviously, it's striker fired as well, so you're not going to get any hammer bite because there's no hammer. Pretty cool so far. I like that. Feels nice in the hand. Pretty decent. That's really smooth as well. Just test the trigger, so. A lot of play there then solid wall yeah that's really decent and then yeah. pretty decent you can make some some nice follow-up shots with that nicely lubed out of the factory as well easy to access hop you probably you probably won't be able to see it but when you look down into the breach you can actually see on the left side of the hop chamber 
there's a little white arrow that's pointing downwards, so that will obviously mean to adjust your hop, move it downwards for more, move it up for less. That's kind of sticky there, if I do that, look. It's kind of sticky, but that probably just needs to be worn in. But yeah, pretty nice. That will take a little bit of getting used to, because it's obviously it's easier if you're right-handed. Yeah, so. But yeah, you know. Learning curves with everything, right? All right, there we go. Nice little short, sweet unboxing of the Tokyo Marui Glock 17 Gen 4. Not too bad. I'm gonna enjoy putting this through its paces. Uh, obviously, it's a full-size pistol, whereas the USB Compact is a compact. So, a little bit of extra length. But uh, yeah, that was it for the unboxing, guys. Thank you to Airsoft Direct for sending me this. Definitely going to be taking me out of my pistol wheelhouse, but that's part of the fun of Airsoft, right? You have all these different things that you can try out, you know, if you like Austrian stuff, you like German stuff, you like US stuff. There's probably an Airsoft gun out there. But yeah, guys, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the little unboxing. And stay tuned for whatever I've got next. I'll see you in the next one.